I think things are working. How exciting. In this economy, I know. I know. I'm a madman. You like where this is going? You say that now, but wait until three months later and I'm still fishing. <laughs> you also probably hope there's dynamite. It's not. It's just fishing in Russia. My fucking mic randomly died, so I had to s swap to a new one. I hate technology. And then I went live and the fucking audio wasn't was enabled for OBS, so I had to go live again. Super back Black Bass for Nintendo Super Nintendo? I don't even remember that game. Was it actually difficult? I hope so. What are these fish? What are these fucking fish? aren't fish I care about. There's that Xander out here. Oh, I see. Yeah, you can just check the... <laughs> Till Animal Crossing? Yeah. Old Europe. Got weird fish. Bunch of weirdos over there. There's a shipwreck over here? What the fuck? I've never noticed that before. That was uh, Bassmaster 2020 some year, 2022. Very bad, but it's free on Game Pass, so I guess that's makes it playable. It's a sweet shipwreck to be just pushed off into the corner of the map like that. Alright bird, fuck off. 
Nobody wants to listen to that shit. Not even other birds. I haven't played a game on my PS4 in years. It's just a media device. Disney Plus and Prime and stuff like that. I thought I had a fish. I think I bumped the boat. Never fished over here. It's, it's gotta be good then. Secret. I really wish I could just have a mini map. I tried to play a Yakuza game, but it kept crashing on me when I wanted to do like a danced game or some shit. And then I got mad and never played it again. That was it. This was my experience with Yakuza. If I can't do the side quest, what's the point in playing? A small fish. Here's the three months of fishing. Probably won't be that long. But I don't have. They canceled my kid's school, so I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do about my schedule right now. I should try to sleep, but I woke up at 3 p.m. It's kind of hard to go to bed at 11. A hundred and thirty-four grams. What a hog. For one month? No, it has been longer than that already, hasn't it? Maybe not. It's kind of my only hobby, man. I have no life, no friends. That was like a very woe is me thing, but like, it was more I just really want to go fishing. I'm fine with no friends, as long as I can fish. Oh yeah, this game is far better as far as like realism, detail, the real moving and stuff is all really good. The lure movements are a lot better. About rollerblading? People still do that? All I see now are kids on like electric skateboards and or hoverboards. I don't think I've seen anybody on rollerblades in five, ten years. It's not, but unfortunately I knocked a woman up here so I'm trapped for life. Actually, not true. I'm trapped for, uh, like, nine years, one month. Almost halfway there, baby. I imagine around, like, 14, 15, my daughter will get sick of my bullshit anyway. So maybe earlier. Thought that was Tommy set a Volga Xander record. He was fishing there. Yeah, I just love doing it. 
I don't know why. I keep thinking I'm going to burn myself out on it, and then I go fishing for 11 hours straight. And wake up the next morning wanting to go back. I'm hurting poor fish, but fuck them. Some of those fish got it coming, honestly. They can't all be good fish. Uh, Alice's grandpa used to tell her that she only, he only killed the mean deer. So, it's got to be some asshole fish out there. I don't know anything about Idaho. Potatoes. Other than that, you got nothing. I don't even know where it is. Like, uh, over there by Wyoming, probably. Within a stage or two with that Wyoming. What a forgettable state. Oh, dude, it's right against Wyoming. Fuck. Wait, that's my... Yeah, it's right against Wyoming. Hell yeah. It's one of the few states I haven't been to. Idaho, Oregon, Alaska and Hawaii, New Hampshire. I think that's it for states I haven't... Oh, Louisiana. That's all the states I haven't been to. Dude, the northern Utah there, the Wyoming-Utah border, I can't believe how beautiful it was. I was truly shocked. I've never heard anything good about Utah, but it's gorgeous right there. I see why the Mormons took it. Sure, it's fun. I believe you. Seems nice. Maine was nice. It's Hipsterville, USA, actually, dude. Uh, whatever that big city is in Utah that I can't think of right now. <laughs> you know, Salt Lake. <laughs> uh, I can't believe how fucking hipster it is. It's crazy. It was very very hip and beautiful beautiful city stopped and ate there not at all what I expected from watching SLC Punk as a child Wyoming wasn't all that bad either. Like, it was a lot of nothing, but just like a nice nothing, you know? I thought it was enjoyable to look at. I bet it's a motherfucker in the winter, though, as wide open as it is.
dun, dun. Great state to keep guns in, like own them there and instead of bringing them home. I'm not saying I got a buddy in Chicago that I keep his guns for, but I got a I don't have a buddy in Chicago. But. It's just yeah, it's, it's just fishing in Russia. Weirdly, Russia isn't just a giant meme on the internet. It's a real place with real people that do normal human being things like fish with fishing poles and not dynamite. It's crazy, I know. I too was shocked to find out. I can't drink vodka though, of course. That that's real. Meat pancakes. Or an onion. A whole <laughs> onion. <laughs> They did add a bear. So this part of the map not still not productive for me. Never has been. Is the bear in a tracksuit? No, it's in uh, bear bear skin. Gonna put this reel on here. Uh, I haven't been as productive here as I had in the past. Except this one topwater looter. It's doing okay. But it's a real mixed bag of what it catches. And I really wish games had customizable UIs. Wouldn't that be tight? not going to make a noodling comment, Chad. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to let it go. No noodle rage. Not yet. It's too early in the stream. Dude, the knights are horrible, Raptors. The worst they've ever been here for me. They're never good, but they're horrible for me now. Drag isn't turned up. I don't think that's actually a big fish. I just reset the game. Yeah. Yeah, but catfish are a waste of my fucking time and gear. Yeah. Even like the Citral and uh, Kessler Herring, I haven't been able to get going as consistently as these. That was always my my bread and butter out here, and then the occasional Asp kicker, you know, or a Caspian Brown, but I've actually just been catching a lot more Asp than anything else. Was it C for Keep Nut? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like so few sigil compared to what I used to catch. Oh. <laughs> I was just about to jerk that lure up and fish bit. Yeah, black spined herring. Fish in the ass pool? Uh, kinda. I've been trying to move around a little bit, see if I can find something more active, new. It's real easy to get stuck just going to the same spots over and over and over. 
Try not to do that. What a trophy by a carp? Where is that at? I only remember catching them in bear, or no. Bear probably has them too, but uh, old berg. They both have them, yeah. I don't understand these cards. What the fuck? Oh wait, that's not the tab. Cause like, not all the fish are on there, which is really, oh wait. I swear when I looked er earlier, they weren't all on there. I guess I'm drunk, maybe I'm wrong. I swear when I looked earlier, this wasn't here. A nasty worm, zero, zero, 008. And then they added uh, these qualification things, too, that I haven't really fucked with at all. Catch five types of fish using a hair rig. Ten different flavors. Ain't nobody got that kind of money to waste. Perch. Do I have yellow on here? I think I do. Maybe I need to shock him with a stinky stick. Nah, we're not doing stinky sticks, shockers. It's gonna be dark now. I wasted all that time driving down here. Man. I might have a. Uh, some perch I can throw after a Caspian Brown. They used to be down here. I'll probably just end up hooked into a sturgeon and die. Was it not perch for the Caspians? Was it like bleak or something? I think it was. I think I was farming them. It was one of the last things I was doing. I don't think I ever even used them. I just farmed a bunch of them. I fished off stream for an hour today, dragging a lure around with only one of its three hooks on it. I wondered why nothing was getting it. Is that a random ass pike out here in the deep hole in the middle of the river? All right. It's 
Sometimes game's weird. Bleak, so I thought so. A lamprey. I still don't even think I've caught one of those. Oh, oh, well we got fish. fish bite today uh i was fucking around trying some new areas and it wasn't great but i would say me howdy harry it's getting dark so the bite's gonna completely die oh there's a fish little guy probably a fucking perch oh yeah that's feeling perchy Tiniest baby of an asp. Did you move over here too, Tommy? No, no, there's much smaller than perch. There's like nine spine sticklebacks and lamprey and stuff that are like 15 grams. Uh, some of them do because they're kind of rare. Obviously not like... as crazy as like some of the big ass salmon and stuff but some of them pay pretty decent and this game has a wearing system on your gear too so there's value in like you know a bunch of ten dollar fish that are super easy to land over a bunch of hundred dollar fish that beat the hell out of your gear You can catch frogs and clams and crayfish. Those are pretty small too, but bigger than some of those fish I named. Like, and there's varying sizes and everything, so you can catch babies of like every species. Mark, thanks for the 90 bits. that asp I've caught from like a hundred grams to nine kilos or some shit. I, they're biting at night. It's freaking me out. They don't do that. It's not a thing that happens here. So all you want to do is trap crawfish. You'll have to find a different video game. Here to catch crawfish, you catch it with a fishing pole.
I don't know if I have a lot of money or not. I don't remember how much things in this cost in this game. I wish I could look at the store while I was out here. I'm not running the ultralight at the moment, no. I beat the hell out of it last night. What am I aiming for? I don't know. I don't know what's next. I need, uh, I think I still need a better rod for to match my reel. I don't know, maybe this carp rod does it. It's close enough. Shopping spree summer last time. Uh, I think you're right a little bit. I got this dumb ultralight pole. That was a waste of money, but I enjoyed it. I wanted to go smelt fishing, but then they moved my smelt. Is that uh, rod and reel or just reel is up is 19k on that cigara? I don't know if I want a second one. I haven't decided. I think I may have unlocked. I did get to 95%. Does that give me anything? Oh, weird. Was 95% jerk bait or did I already have that? I probably already had it. I'm running into shore. Like they screwed my my pooch. My wacky worms for sickles sitchels up. Or they just moved them somewhere else that I don't know where. I ran down through here. Look, I always did best with them in here. the night. Oh, oh, I caught something. Just gotta complain, I'm telling you. It's, it's guaranteed. A tiny chub. this river. I stopped streaming the day we started playing it. Yeah. I go back and forth. You know. <clears throat> Can't afford to play it every day. Be the very best. So, I have a random-ass question to Americans in chat. 
did they just legalize betting in my state or a bunch of states? Because every fucking advertisement I see on TV, the radio, Facebook, Twitter, is for a fucking sports betting website. And it's driving me insane. Ads were annoying enough. But now, because it's new, it is just fucking everywhere. It's the same ads over and over and over and over and over everywhere. So maybe it was just legalized in Michigan? Oh, holy hell, dude. It has just taken over advertising for my life. I don't think I've seen another ad. Huh, yeah, it says they've been legal here since 2019, so I don't know why the giant influx. Maybe it's just because it's football season? I don't know. Or maybe it's just popping off, they're doing well. Fucking nighttime, I'm telling you. Just get rid of the get rid of the fucking dark it suns all the time. Oh, it's so annoying, true. Oh, they accepted it in 2019, but didn't actually go into effect. I see it says you can do online poker again. I should have never Googled that. Time for a career change. I'm no good at poker, but. You want to be my loan shark and break my knees? Because I'm certainly not going to pay you back. No, no, no. See, it's you get one or the other. Wait, no, not one. Fuck. So I just strengthen them. Yeah, now they're ready to be broken again. That was years ago. Card. Years. Many years. I'm listening. Yeah, time is dumb. It's forgettable and dumb. A fish. They do exist. No honkers, though. It's a fucking perch. Good 
I'm sick of your shit game. Come on, son. Come up. I'll give you one more day, and then I'm running away. Can I see... can't sort by water body, can you? Annoyingly. I'm a nasty worm. Brown trout on Tunguska? What the fuck is this river? I don't remember it. Maybe we'll go there. I don't remember it. And smelt? I fucking love smelt. Why are they eating a giant minnow? <coughs> I feel like they've really pushed in tap water lately. Or people are just putting a lot more faith in it. You see it on the list. Leaders lists a lot. on that dumb son. Oh yeah, I forgot about these white fish too. They exist. Bunch of fish I've never even caught there. I just didn't fish that place a lot. Yeah, did I just get rid of everything now, card major? I hate stuff. Throw it all away. I used to get so mad at my ex-wife for doing that. Like, we might need that. Why are you keep why aren't you getting rid of it? And now I'm the complete opposite. If I haven't touched it in like a week, I'll throw it in the trash. Ain't got room. Not only have I filled my house, I've filled my father's barn with shit too. Fish. You better not be a perch. I mean, it's about as bad. Ammo for guns you don't have anymore? You gotta hit it with a hammer. My friend shot himself doing that. Hitting 22 rounds with a hammer.
That's how you know you're a real redneck. When you're shooting guns and you don't even... Shooting bullets and you don't even have a gun. You don't even own a hammer? My dad's always referencing some fucking movie or TV show or something. Or maybe it's a book. I don't know. Something. But it's basically about a, like a, a, a carpenter or a black. Anyway, some dad like passing down a hammer that his son couldn't pick up when he was a kid. And he's always asking me if I can pick up the hammer yet. <laughs> That's a very random story, but I... Every time I say the word hammer, that's burned in my brain of my father judging me. What for Jesus' name is 75 months Thor? No, it's definitely... I don't think he was watching one of the Marvel movies. I didn't really listen when he was explaining the whole backstory to me. He's got like three or four movies from his, I don't know, his formative years that he's always referencing to me that he's, I've never watched because I'm an asshole. One of them's like a on TV series that ran in 1976. I couldn't even find it when I tried to get it for him. Hope you're well, Weddy. you're not allowed to get rid of. <laughs> I'm like rarely upset. Okay, that's not true. I was going to say I'm rarely not I'm rarely upset by things my ex does, but that's not true. I'm rarely verbally upset about things my ex does. But she's one of those people, and if you remember the story about her taking the toilet paper the first time she moved out, um, everything she buys is hers, and everything I buy is mine. So, like, she left every present I ever got her and took every present she ever got me. <laughs> Very weird about it. But the other day, my daughter was shopping for a Christmas, pre Christmas present for her, and she picks up this boat anchor decoration, and she's like, ooh, Mom would love this. And I was like, why would your mom want that? She's like, well, her whole house is lake-themed. And I'm like, she doesn't live on a lake. I live on a lake. But she took all of the lake-themed decorations with her and decorated <laughs> her new place with them. <laughs> she missed the point of a present. I mean, I for that like it, it. I don't really mind that she takes the shit she bought. That doesn't bug me too bad. But except when it's the scenario of things like that, where it's like it doesn't even make sense that you took it. Except that you, it's yours, right? Like, like the toilet paper didn't bug me because I understand. She pees like seven thousand times a day. I bought two big giant packs of toilet paper when there was a toilet paper crisis, and I haven't had to buy toilet paper since. That was what? I used to have to buy toilet paper weekly. Eighteen months ago, yeah. <laughs> So anyway, we did a bunch of uh, lake-themed decorations for my ex-wife's not-lake house. <laughs> Imagine how long TV lasts to get the shit at the office. Not only do I get to shit at the office, I shit in the office.
Also, that's the most gamer toilet positioning ever created. I can be shitting and watch the game I'm playing. So, like, playing Magic or playing Storybook Brawl, dude. I, if you got a shit in the middle of a game, you just do it. You run back and forth. You can see the monitor. You can watch the countdown. I can rope a dope a motherfucker in Hearthstone while taking a shit. I'm not throwing a game, dude. I'll run back and forth with shitty cheeks. This is not going well. It's time to move on, I think. Bigger and better things. Or smaller and better, even. I'd accept that. Alright, I'm in a perch hole. Very deep in a perch hole. That's a weird fucking name. Oh yeah, I'm deep in a perch hole. Get me out. Want none of that. None of that. None of it. That's not a perch. If it is, it's at least a perch worth a few. It's a per. Wait, wait, no, it's a Kessler herring. They do exist. Water body world record. White bream. Wow. I wonder if I have any records left. I had a couple of USA records. Divine Heretic, maybe the 66 months. Heard that drag clicking in the menus. We got us a hog, maybe? On a hog. I'm trying to see, there's no way to see all water bodies. I guess absolutes. He's still got the Sitchel. It was the blue Dodger, huh? What a guy. What a guy. What a gamer.
by 0 0.006 kilograms. That's all it takes. Hasn't that been going on forever, card? Or did you do a kitchen? It's only a USA record, though. I don't think it's a real record. But, you know, I'll compete against my fellow Americans. My fellow American. Thought I had one for Grayling, too. Ooh, ooh. I got drag clicking, doubling down on my rods. Oh, yeah. Give me that one. Hogs on. No, it's still not that big. Four kilos, I'm going to guess. Watch it turn on the jets and run downstream and piss me off. In May? Okay, it was in... Yeah, that's a long time on a bathroom remodel. Might be bigger than five. Hurry up, I don't want to lose the other one. Is it not an asp? They usually surface by now. Show a little thin. Oh no, it is. What'd I guess? I feel like that was pretty close. Just in time for Thanksgiving? Yeah, classic toilet related holiday. Thanksgiving. I'm cooking this year for Thanksgiving. So it's going to be the most boring Thanksgiving dinner ever. A uh, ham, potatoes, and green beans. Oh wait, my daughter made me add corn. That's it. No desserts. No stuffing. None of that shit. Alright. I should have said no to corn. I forgot I don't have enough burners for that. I really need a new stove someday. That'll be cool. I can only run one burner in the oven or two burners at a time. And it's the two small burners. Neither of the big burners work. Microwave the corn. I guess I could. I could just uh, hold the can between my cheeks all afternoon while I'm cooking. It'll get warm. I could just start a little leaf fire outside, throw the can in that. I do hate burning leaves, but they're slightly less obnoxious when they're convenient to me. I think I'm going to just try going up and down that way, maybe. Look, I'm wasting a lot of time running out here and not getting much. The 
Tommy abandon me? I think he did. Coward. Why are you both bent so hard? Oh, I forgot to fucking close the bale. Whoops. Did they ever add rain gear to this game? So I'm not constantly upset about being wet? Just an umbrella hat? That seems Russian. I should get an umbrella hat for fishing this year. Great idea. Do they make them in larger sizes instead of like always a joke? Play them in 27 months. Vodka does help you not care about the rain in this game. That's true. Might as well make my own at that point. Yeah, like a super industrial one with a chin strap so it doesn't blow off your head. Doesn't need to close. Fuck that. We got rained out a lot this year in our fishing tournaments. And like the annoying get rained on for an hour and then the sun comes out, so you're just like hot and wet. Wet shoes, man, the worst. I gotta buy new shoes. Might have so many holes in the toe and the heel that it's sprinkling my socks are wet. It's not going great. We're moving on. I guess I should wait till it gets dark and then run back so I don't start somewhere else dark. You were across. <laughs> Gross. No, no mother loads. The asp have been decent. Like it's a lot it's a lot less small fish than I used to get. My wacky worm technique has not been as effective. Uh but I get a lot more asp, I think. I blame Tommy.
got him. When Crocs first came out, uh, I was like, I don't know, young enough to still be an asshole. And I remember I was at a grocery store and me and my friend were like throwing something back and forth. But like we intended to buy it anyway, so it was no big, uh, we didn't think it was a big deal. And this dude came out in, in, in white Crocs, like bright white Crocs and started yelling at us and telling us he was a security guard. And I looked down at his Crocs and just said, dude, I'm never going to, I'm never going to listen to a guy in Crocs. And he just lost his fucking mind on me. Went absolutely bonkers. And drug me out of the store. Isn't this tightening back up? Hey, where the fuck is this lure? Weird, it's just not swimming, right? Oh no, it's just way the fuck up here still? How? How much line did I have out on that thing? sky blue crocs everywhere exclusively sky sky blue Three pairs they own are blue. This sounds like someone who's offended by it just as much as I am. I'm not saying matching the Crocs is important a priority, but sky blue is just a... It's a choice, you know? I feel like you're bringing extra attention to the fact that you're wearing Crocs by choosing sky blue. At least get like camouflage once and try to hide your feet, you know? Sorry, that was funny. I don't, I don't care. <laughs> I could see wearing Crocs um, if I was dead. Like at my funeral, maybe a pair, <laughs> maybe a pair of Crocs and a pair of toe shoes. One on each foot, yeah. Toe socks and Crocs. How else are you gonna show off your toe socks? So, like, I, I'm not trying to bash them too hard, but they're just, like, the, 
the weirdest lazy thing to me. Like, I'm the laziest human being on Earth. And I would... I would compete in a competition to prove this. But, like, to be so lazy that you're gonna choose to wear exclusively cro I'm not trying to destroy you here as a human being. Um... It's a, it's a power move, for sure. What do you do if it rains? Just have wet feet? Is the post-divorce croc look? I should try it then. Maybe I'd attract more divorce divorcees, divorcees, whatever the term is. Dark blue. Yeah, I could see a color that was like less, you know, obvious. I'm hey, check out my Crocs, my hot pink Crocs. I'm at this uh, weird point with divorced women where the only divorced women I meet are through my daughter in school, so they also know my ex-wife. Big old sigil. <laughs> That's my look, Blade. The never leave the house even when I'm working. My daughter, as I went to the gas station today, that's that's all I do to leave the house is go to the gas station to get drinks. And I went to the gas station today and I just threw on a pair of pants. My daughter's like, you've worn those pants like five days in a row. I was like, yeah, but I only wear them for like eight minutes at a time. So I've worn them less than anyone wears an average pair of pants. This is acceptable. There's no way they're dirty. I only put them on to leave and then I immediately take them off when I get home. about school getting canceled this week. I had a plan and everything. Now my sleep's all fucked up. Tomorrow's gonna suck. Way to have fish bite when you're using a spinner. Do they nib? So, no. And this that's real life, too, for us to work. There's no such thing. Like, all the lures in this game... I sh most of the lures in this game are treble hooks. And, like, there isn't really an option for a nibble. They're strikes, and they're different. So, uh, you will have bites where, like, it'll pull your rod and... Uh, then there's just nothing. Those are a part of the game. Um, and a real life thing too, and it's where the it's mimicking where a fish hits the part of the lure without a hook on it. But spinners are like constantly moving, right? So uh, 
Um, wow, that's a big Kessler Heron. Maybe I need to go spinners, make some money. But yeah, because of the moving part, they don't swim up next to it, nipping at it, right? They either bite it and 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 attack it, or nothing. The only lures in this game that aren't quite done right, I think, are the jigging stuff. Um, that shit, you should have to set the hook. Because it is frequently eaten while it's sitting, sitting still. It's just a single hook. IRL, you uh, lose a lot of fish if you just started reeling. Wow, okay, I found a spot here that's popping with the herring and citral. What is that? Excitement. My heart. She's, oh, my friction brakes just turned way down. That's what that is. It's <laughs> catching fish this quick. It can be. For sure. Especially school fish, you know. Like, there are some, those are all a bunch of small, what I would call bait fish. Um, and a lot of times when you're fishing for shit like that, you'll actually throw three lures at once. And you can reel in three on the same line. That's weird, I didn't even see it. Man, I got upgraded hooks on this too, that sucks. It was a decent size, that's my biggest reel. Oh, something hit that when I was reeling it in. But yeah, like that was a 30 gram fish. Something like that you could absolutely hammer them. Wham, bam, bam. But also like most sim games, time goes faster than IRL. So. You have to consider that fact too, right? An hour is a day. Ah, picking up the wrong rods. Rawr. If you consider how few fish I caught the last 30 minutes compared to that session there of wham, bam, 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 it's pretty realistic, I'd say. And that is usually how it goes. When you find where the fish are, you are going to catch more than one. Even like predatory fish hang out together. Hell yeah, that's money.
wonder if fish take that in consideration. I mean, they're dumb and have tiny brains, but like... Fish hang out in groups that are usually like a, you know, a safe size. You'll see, you know, like really big bluegill and crappie and stuff will hang around bass. And the little ones will all hang to the shallows. But like, do they actually recognize the fact? Is there something that drives them to that same spot when they get bigger? Must must just be temperature and stuff. But or do they actually recognize the fact that like, hey, I'm big enough now, I can ride this ride. Are they constantly looking at other fish and questioning? Think he can swallow me? <laughs> you mean men chicken? Yeah, that's what I assume. It's more to do with like temperature and they're getting into similar foods. A lot of people don't realize most fish are predatory. Just because they don't have teeth like a pike, they're still... But very few fish kill, right? They swallow whole. Very few things like rip a fish apart to get it down or chew it up, even if they have teeth. a lot safer hanging out with all the other surfers. Oh, I bet there's some of that, too, even if it's not the same species, yeah. Yeah, very few that dismember, yeah. I don't ice fish. I mean, occasionally. I live on a lake, so I, like, go out and fuck off for a little bit here and there, but I don't enjoy it. I don't eat enough fish for ice fishing either, I think. But it won't be long. My lake will be loaded with all the excited Michigan ice fishermen. I mean, I live on a lake that's incredibly popular for ice fishing and don't, <laughs> so I'm with you. Just don't enjoy it, man. It's cold. Ice freaks me out. I don't like being so stationary. Just vertical jigging is just, it's not that exciting. I'm sure pulling a 40-inch pike through a hole in the ice is cool. I'm sure that is a cool thing, but... I don't know that I have the patience to ever get good at it. <laughs> Two for, come on, you go too. Three fish is better than two. A rud. Last year, I think. Yeah, last year. Uh, I went out, fucked off, drilled too many holes, wore myself out. 
And the next thing I know, I hear my daughter yelling, Dad, 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 Dad. And I look back at a hole that I'd been at like an hour ago, and my daughter's holding a big monster bluegill. And that was the only fish I we pulled out of the ice all year. <laughs> Lazy bank fishing or kayak? I don't like kayak fishing. Maybe if I had a fancy kayak, I would enjoy it more. It's just so cramped. I bang, I would bank fish over kayak fish, though, personally. No, the patience of fish. It's really not a patience game unless you suck. <laughs> it's just really not. Uh, if you're stuck on a bank, you're limited. You're quite limited to your options, I guess. But, like, I kind of still would say you suck, because there's going to be certain times of year where bank fishing is effective, especially if we're talking in the lakes. <clears throat> but there is never a day where I can't go out and just hammer fish. I could just every single day go out and catch dozens of fish. Uh, when you start like specifically looking for big fish, certain species, that's where things can get a more of a patience game. But to just catch fish it really isn't. That's a, just a bad fishing myth. But. Uh, Fish are very, very predictable. Water temperature is like everything. Once you understand how fish behave in certain water temperatures, as long as you can look at that, put a fucking thermometer in there, uh, you can pretty much guarantee where fish are going to be. You got yours with pedal and shit? Yeah, that sounds better. Because, you know, I got to have, uh, I don't like retying all day long. So I got to have six rods or something. So I don't have to fuck around and tie on a new lure every eight minutes. Is that, like, the keys, Icor? Wait, crocodiles. That's like Australia? <laughs> Australia. Yeah. I enjoy tying at home and stuff, but once I'm out there on the water, the older I get, the faster time goes, man. And, like, I used to go out fishing for three hours, and it felt like fucking forever. I, mean, I have no issues tying on, changing lures. Felt like I, you know, had a ton of time. But now I go out, and I'm like, I got two and a half hours. That's going to be over in ten minutes. I want to be everything I want ready to go. I have a game plan in mind. So I usually tie on the night before, and I love that. I get my tackle box out, all my rods, fuck off, and sit on the couch with the TV going, and tie up everything, get everything ready. But once I'm on the water, none of that.
it's probably the most preparing and planning I do in anything for anything in life is pre-gaming my fishing, looking at a fucking map, pulling up the maps on my fish finder, picking a few spots I know I'm gonna want to target. Getting out there and realizing that uh, <coughs> the lake looks nothing like I expected and having to figure that all out again. But, like, you know. <laughs> I was prepared. My brother's addicted to that stupid Fish Brain app, which is, like, just a crowdsourced fishing hotspots app drives me nuts. Every time we're having like a, a slow period or a bad day, he's on that stupid app telling me what lures I should be using. And I'm like, dude, it's the same guy who only fishes with the same lure. Stop acting like <laughs> this is <laughs> the only way. It's just that's the way that dude does it. He's the only guy on the lake submitting his results. And he's probably lying to throw people off the scent of his own spots. <laughs> That's what I'd be doing. No, there's nothing wrong. We talked about it a ton. This, this is one that applies to this game and IRL. Um, you're always going to be willing to spend more time fishing with something and in a style that you're comfortable with, a style that's been successful for you in the past. You know, you throw on your favorite lure, you'll fish it for a fucking hour before you give up and swap to something else. You tie on something new, some new technique you've never done before, you give it 10 minutes. <laughs> Anybody who's caught a giant fish, their personal best on a lure or a technique, they continue to use it for a long time. It takes something pretty significant to get them to change. Even if it was just that lucky one day. I had one for years and years and years I'd go back to. Only ever caught one good fish on it. It wasn't very good. But I'd go back to it, keep trying it. Just because of that one big fish. Dude, uh, until this year, Danny, I hated spoons. And the only way I ever caught anything with a spoon was I was uh, trying to see how fast it sank. Dropped it off the side of my boat. Fucking pike came smashed it off the bottom of the lake. It was very cool to see. But this year I got, I had a lot more luck with spoons. And it was again, because I just put more effort into using them. <laughs> it's crazy. It's almost like if you use a lure a ton, you're going to catch more fish with it. It's fucking wild. This is a decent sized fish, I think. I love trolling. Trollings with nets, by the way. Trollings with a fishing pole. Not to be that guy, but, you know, I'm being that guy. Yeah, I stopped bobber fishing almost entirely. I jig for bluegill now, too.
only time I'll blobber fish is like, uh, that is a big fish. I think that's the biggest fish I caught on this reel. This reel is just strong. Was that seven or something? Seven kilo? Oh, hold your rod up. Never mind. That's just a fucking almost 10 kilo trophy that didn't fight. I don't really ice fish. Um, I, I made a new fishing buddy this summer. He's big in ice fishing, says he's going to get me into it. So I might end up getting into it this year. We'll see. Big ass. Was that my PB ass? 9872. Nope, that's not the one. It was. It was in the middle of the night, too. I never catch shit at night. What the fuck's a yellow bass? Never heard of it. Oh, it's a yellow bass. I see. It's just a white bass that's yellow. I wish we had the white bass and the stripers and stuff up here. Our lakes are pretty, around me, are pretty much largemouth exclusive. You get into the rivers, you'll get some smallmouth. Long John Silvers are walleye, really? It's interesting. I didn't know that either. seems what fish does long john silvers use wild caught cod and pollock what the fuck's a pollock i know i've eaten it but i don't know what it actually is hmm, a north a commercially valuable food fish of the cod family from the north atlantic saltwater fish, so it could be somehow oddly related to a walleye, but not a walleye, specifically walleye or freshwater. Europe has them too, but it's got a different name. They have a very, very similar fish. And a walleye is just a giant perch. A lot of people don't realize that either. Like, that's not true. They are a separate species, but they're like same family. You know, black bear, brown bear kind of thing. Both bears, different species. That's walleye perch. Xanders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Xanders. And then there's sauger too, right? What the fuck's the difference between a sauger? That's a walleye like as well, isn't it? Or however that's said. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Xander are just walleye. Yeah, they are just walleye, right? 
And they call them pike perch, I think. <laughs> but, like they have very, very, very similar. But fish, depending on where you catch them, look different too, right? Like that's an interesting thing with fish. Comparing like a uh, large mouth up here to the large mouth I've caught in the south and stuff like that. And muddy water look very, very different. Or even just up here we get a lot of different colorations. Where's Sauger at though? Are they just out anywhere? I don't know anything about walleye really. It's one of the ones I still need to learn. They have a very limited presence in Michigan and are officially listed as threatened by the state. Oh, okay. Could explain why I don't know a lot about Sauger. Yeah, we catch a lot of pumpkin seeds. I'm, I mean, I th like the bluegill, the whole panfish family. Uh, is just dumb to me. I just call them all sunfish or bluegill. And I know there's actually like a lot more technical variety than that. Red ear sunfish and pumpkin seeds and. I don't actually know which species we have here or don't. I think what I call a bluegill is usually a red ear sunfish. No, they're different. Kind, they look very similar. And then yeah, you get into like even Googling an image like, that's what the red ears look like in Kentucky. Not necessarily in my clear Michigan waters. Yeah, I don't think I've seen a green sunfish before. Xander, speaking of the the devil, no, that's an asp. That's just an asp again. I think there are Xander out here. We were. Uh, I have yet to catch a walleye. I've been, I've had people in my boat catch walleye repeatedly that have no idea what they're doing, just accidentally catch a walleye, which drives me nuts, because when I try to catch them, I never get them. But we were pre-fishing this year for a bass tournament, and my brother's girlfriend caught one, and she was just like laying down, dragging a lure behind the boat, like six feet off the back of the boat, not really paying attention. Damn it. Yeah, leeches are a common bait for them. Leeches and minnows, crankbaits. Pew, I defended your honor yesterday. I just want you to know that. I was gonna I was willing to fight for you. You're welcome.
Yeah, walleye's a lot better on the east side of our state than it is on my side of the state. Lake Erie is the walleye central. Biggest fish ever caught? I used to have a picture loaded just for this scenario when I played this game. Uh, a snook. I don't remember exactly how big it was. I think of 42, 38, 40, somewhere in there. I have it wrote down. I have a little fishing journal where I keep track of my PBs. But I've only ever caught one snook, so... That was one of those lucky moments. I made the bait shop guy mad. We went into the bait shop and asked this dude a whole bunch of questions like, dude, we're from Michigan. Neither of us have ever fished in saltwater. We got no idea what we're doing. And he's recommending all kinds of stuff. And my buddy just kept saying, I really want to try squid. And he's like, yeah, you're not going to catch anything. You don't want to use that. You don't want to use shrimp and these different types of fish. And my buddy's like, at the end was like, you know what? Throw in some squid just in case. And I ended up catching this monster snook on that shitty squid, which is incredibly unlikely in a rare scenario. And when I went back the next day, the guy's like, oh, what did you guys do? I'm like, well, we're here for more squid. <laughs> and I showed him a picture, and he lost his fucking mind. He had never caught one that big, and he fishes for him like three days a week, he said. Yeah, down in Florida. How was your honor being tarnished? Whoever just was streaming with you yesterday was, like, cussing you out for not driving the warthog faster. Or, yeah, warthog, is that what it's called? I feel like I should know this. And Justin's like, whoa, man, that's my friend. And then I just told that man, whoever that man was, that I was going to fight him to the death for insulting Pew. You capped that shit. I know. But he was cussing you out while you were taking your time getting the warthog running. It looks pretty good to play. Minus the wind lines. If you immediately turn off the wind lines, Halo looks pretty good. I have to look at the bot. <laughs> he wasn't that bad. He was just like, go, idiot, go. And then Justin was like, whoa, man, that's my friend. I don't even know who he was streaming with or care. I'm a jerk. I'll fight them all to the death in your honor. This thing keeps getting twisted around and not actually dragging. I guess it's casting further than I realized. Yeah, this thing's like under my... Oh, did they make boat collision physics on this lure? I'm, that's what's happening. I keep running into it. And then just driving it around in front of my boat. Well, you're not going to catch a lot of fish doing that. Yeah, there's a few of the Northern Lion crew that, like, <laughs> I've never um, learned learned who they were. They don't have unique enough voices. That's what I'm going I'm to blame them for their generic voices. Yeah, zany white guy voice. Which zany white guy is that?
And Northern Lion has that infectious thing. It even happens to me where, like, everyone just takes... Some, well, actually, it's uh, Dan Giesling infects Ryan, and then Ryan brings it back and infects all of them. So then they all just talk exactly. Like, they use the exact same phrases, too. And I'm just like, dude, I don't know which one of you is which. I'm sorry. I'm a jerk. They all need their own catchphrase. So that way I could identify them. Cowabunga, dude. Fishing these fjords. Uh, it got... I was about to quit, but then it got kind of hot. How many fish can fit in this boat? They're in my keep net. Uh, 150. Of any size. That's a fucking keep net, yeah. Yeah, it's hard not to turn, do the accidental phrasing thing. And you pick up people's stupid bullshit so quick. I don't remember how many of my viewers uh, <laughs> told me or Justin that they were calling C dot C dot in PUBG. Like all of our, we made up all of our own PUBG names for everything on the map. And like all of my viewers were saying, none of my friends know what the fuck I'm talking about or what I'm calling out. We had the same problem with Halo 2 back in the day. Though it worked well when we did tournaments, when we had completely unique names for everything. But it didn't work well for playing with other people. He's snake fucking up there. Yeah, snake fucking. I mean, like, that was a good one. I forgot about snake fucking. Much better than C dot. I don't know who created snake fucking. I want to. I'm just gonna claim it as my own. That was me. Yeah, if you're gonna call someone a nerd. Or a virgin, you might as well combine the two together. The f like the initial snake fucking clip, I wish I had it because it was very good. Like losing our mind over it. That really put boy on the map for me. I was never gonna say boy, but boy did that change after many hours of PUBG. I did wasn't with Flack. I didn't play with Flack when snake fucking happened. I don't think I've ever played with Flack. I made Apollo uh, give me the password to their secret Super Auto Pets lobby the other day, and I lost the Northern Lion so I can never play again. He fucking mosquito sniped my melon armor in one, and I was furious.
lake trout. Yeah, it was fun. Well, uh, it lasted. If it had a ranked mode, I might play it more. I really got into grinding the ranked on Storybook. I just need objectives, man. I need goals. I don't care if the goal is 90,000 fake fish bucks to buy a house I'll never do anything with. I need goals. Hey there, chub. Yeah, the King of the Hill and that's actually a cute reason to go back. And surprisingly see quite a few different builds succeeding in King of the Hill. Brain lagging for the 82 months. That's a long time. Yeah, I really liked Auto Chess's rank because we could play together and it affected rank, and that was fun. That's like the best of both worlds. We should uh, uh, do that again someday. Even fishing tournaments in this for even 50 bucks is at least like something to extra to strive for. Makes me fish a little harder. Otherwise, I just get distracted and don't care. Something hit that and got off. I'm mad. Or wait, I stopped the trolling motor? No. Your friends that still play auto chess? I'm sure it's had a bunch of updates. They had been pretty consistent with updating it. The Terraria update? Yeah, it's just gimmicky. I think it'd be better in Don't Starve than in Terraria. Because at least Don't Starve, like, adding a boss is a significant effect to the game. Terraria, it's not. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. I think it, if there was one that was going to bring me back over that collab, it's... Don't starve, not Terraria. I have Cthulhu, good choice. Yeah, that's what I figured, Sinister. But it's harder to go back to Terraria for one boss. In my opinion. It's a big investment for one boss. Man, Jungle Pants is losing fish left and right. The fishing guild's dead. Is there a big new Minecraft update day coming? I need to, I want to start this series with Alice playing Minecraft. She's like a Minecraft know-it-all, but she hasn't played through it. And I haven't played since 2010. I did try the Bass Master game. It is not good. You are correct. Coming in December. Really? Maybe I should wait till then, then. I need to get her a better mic. But I ain't got no bucks. Maybe I can get her to put on her Christmas list. She wouldn't be excited about it. She wouldn't understand the value of it. <laughs> Damn children. Not wanting something that's actually useful. Wanting worthless toys. Uh, no, we're going to both play on her own PCs, because technically she's not supposed to be on stream. So we're just going to play on 
Discord. You'll just have my perspective and she'll be at her computer on Discord. Is my plan. I just did seven days. I probably won't go back for one. But I forgot I had a spare mixer, but I just, I think my mixer smoked, so I need to get a mixer or something for Alice, or maybe just a USB mic. She'd probably do better with a an actual broadcaster style mic instead of like I wear mine. But I really think it'd be fun. To give her something to look forward to doing when she comes to visit dad. Dad's house is boring, chat. November 30th is the Minecraft update? Or the... It's not a headset mic. It's separate. It's a like a stage microphone. Like Britney Spears would use. She'd have, you know, that shoved in the back of her pants. I don't know why Britney was my choice. Probably lacquered. Actually, it was because I read a thing about Justin Timberlake ruining her image 20 years ago, and now he's public enemy number one. He admitted on a random radio show that he had sex with her when she was saving herself for Jesus. Like, honestly, God deserved that one. It's kind of like a lava leader. It's the same concept, except this is actually an over here. I just like it because I don't have to, like, lean into my microphone. I was watching somebody raid, Justin raided into somebody today, and... He kept getting too far away from his microphone. You could barely hear him. That shit. I'd be doing that all day. Yeah, he was a teenager. Or like 20. I think it's... I, I guess that's... Like, it's not an excuse, but it, it is also like... Dude's 40 now. <laughs> you know? I did that shit when I was 20. I too bragged about my conquests at 20. And now I realize I was an asshole. This mic? Uh, the mic itself is cheap. It was like 60 bucks. Uh, but you have to have the body pack and the receiver and a mixer so it ends up being a bit a couple hundred bucks originally i thought i'd do more co-op stuff so i have full i got four of them thinking it was a better way to do co-op instead of everyone trying to crowd around one microphone Then I realized, hey, you don't have any friends, asshole. Hundreds of batteries. Uh, I have actually only bought eight double A's in eight years. Well, I've had these microphones probably seven years. 
and I've only bought eight double A's. They're rechargeable, obviously, but, like, I've used the same set for, like, six of the seven years. Pasty? Yeah. I still talk pasty here and there. He got a lady. And, uh, he's very private with his, his lady life. It's almost as if he's ashamed of me. Dog, uh, wait, it's, it's almost dark. Then I'll take you. O U T. Yeah, I know. You know what I'm saying. Sweet baby. Mm, yeah. Money. Can you get more of those, please? I'm about to just troll all spinners. Then I got that trophy ass. Fuck no, dude. It's been dark since like 4 p.m. Stupid winter. It's such a fucking crazy time shift here, man. From in like two months, dude, we go from not getting dark till after 10 to getting dark at 5. It's fucking bonkers. Just losing five hours of your day. I'm like really far west too for being eastern time zone. I'm like as far west as you can be. <laughs> so I feel like we get some pretty drastic swings in our time. Thanks, Jasky. How you doing? Shouldn't you be live right now? You were Pokemaning. Yeah, the difference between like New York and Michigan is, is silly. I used to play a lot of league with a guy from the East Coast. And us being in the same time and him getting darker like an hour and a half earlier. How's that Pokemon? So is this a remake? I didn't even know that Pokemon was coming. A remake, yeah. I saw that. I saw that you said like new to me in your title. Basically, it's the reason I know it's a remake and not a brand new Pokemon. They added a Pokestop to the public access on my lake. And it is, like, just out of reach, man. If I walk to the corner of my house, the circle gets, like, right there. Pisses me off. I stopped at Silver. I, <laughs> I played uh, two Pokemon games. Red and Silver.
I tried to play... Well, I tried to help my daughter play the new one. And she got so bored so fast. And I get it. It's so fucking wordy, dude. Jesus Christ. The amount of dumb dialogue in Pokemon. And then the combat with all the clicking the same buttons over and over. And having to see super effective over and over and over and over. It's hell. Sorry to Pokemon fans. You know, enjoy your nostalgia. I'm here for it. Just not playing Pokemon. Ned, shame that man. I still don't know who Ned is. Ned's a fucking mystery to me. I can't believe they're still using this super effective, like, the fact you have to button through that stuff chassis is crazy to me. Like, it was different. It was a different time, you know, when it came out, and that was the way it was. But it was a really, really hard sell to my eight-year-old. Yeah, there's another way to say it's effective without making you have to press A every single time. And stopping the act, stopping the gameplay itself to inform you of it, right? Imagine if the tutorials and games did that throughout the entirety of the game. Because that's how I feel with Pokemon and the super effective thing. Yeah, I love po I loved Pokemon, and it, it's uh, a little saddening to me that I can't be a part of the nostalgia because I just can't find the games enjoyable. This is more of why I complain than anything, right? It's because I wish I could find them enjoyable. I I have a really hard time getting her to play anything I recommend Oblivion. Every single time you fought him, Jesse. Nice. <laughs> I want to check out the... I forgot. The Monster Rancher remakes, too. They're probably not very good, but, you know, I love Monster Rancher. Give me boy for 46 months. I agree, Jesse, that it's never going to be challenging, but they could make it less painful. Because that, like I said, that was even like to, I was excited to take my daughter down the nostalgia train until I was like, you know what, honey, this is painful for me. I can't imagine what it's like for a seven-year-old who has no patience at all, especially because you're playing modern games like that just don't no longer require that level of Yes, 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 yes. What's the monster? It's just my. I'm pretty sure they just brought Monster Ranger to PC. I should. It might not even be a remake. Oh, well, how big was that? I don't know, but it was a flag. I spaced through it, assuming it was just another small ass.
I'm curious to see what they did about the CD thing in the Monster Ranchers. Was that all it was? 1.5 kilo? 27? Yeah. That'll still be a nice payday. Searchable song database. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, I would never I would never use that. I don't have any songs on my computer. Ooh. Good fish. Oh, it already has the info inside it. All right, I don't understand. Either way, doesn't sound as cool as it could have been. Pokemon fans are insufferable. Any series, it's hard, man. You know, Final Fantasy, all of them have that insufferable side where they don't want anything to change but then complain when nothing changes, you know? They're in the computer? It is just a classic gamer problem. This man is just shame city. It's a classic gamer problem. Of gamers think they know what they want, and their idea they have this perfect game figured out, but they never really know. I get a high speed lunker. Yeah, community feedback's tough, Jasky. I think it's easy for the community to voice complaints. But when devs start listening to suggestions on how to fix things, it usually backfires. Because, like, Darkest Dungeon was a big one for me, you know, with Darkest Dungeon 2 coming out. Like, I did not like the changes made in Darkest Dungeon 1 from beta to full release. However, I am totally okay with the changes because I see how successful it was and I see how well it went for them. Like they clearly picked the right decision not making the game I wanted. This is a decent fish, I think. Just a big reel. Maybe not. No. Just like four kilo or something. Two? He felt bigger than that. Through my virtual gaming hands. Are there some good quotes? I agree. I feel like that is definitely the case. I was just reading through, Edmund asked, like, what items suck and should be fixed, and a lot of bad suggestions in there and bad recommendations even for what sucks. Getting a 
tenth of a percentage point off bait shopping is lucky. Chop them up, chop them up. I don't remember what time the premium days reset. Jasky, they added houses. You can buy a house on uh, Cory, and they redesigned Cory. But you, you just, and it's only ninety thousand dollars for a house. So. I got a little grinding to do. Just a tiny bit. <laughs> no, no, no. It's only like 300 IRL currency. Ninety thousand, I'd consider selling you my current home. I'm eating the loss. Right now, where does ninety thousand get you a house? Not many places. You could find one here, but it would be a pretty shitty dump. <clears throat> the market's still fucking bonkers. Team co-op, so it's multi. It's uh, it's multiplayer, but you don't see each other. You can interact through tournaments and through like fishing groups, but uh, you can't actually walk up and fish slap anybody. Records and stuff are all here though, so it is multiplayer, just not not visible. Five years ago, I bought a house for, I bought two houses for, uh, one for 30 and one for 20. And for C, yeah, they absolutely will bend me. They have to. I mean, you've already seen places like Zillow and stuff are bailing out on their idea of buying up the entirety of the market. Just put your house up for 380 and it's wild. Good luck. Yeah, I really want to want to sell mine, but it's uh, in the it's, it's half torn apart, so. Zillow finally fucked off a little bit. They still own way too many houses, especially in areas that have a big market share. Partially renovated? Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Partially renovated. That's it. I listed it for a couple months this summer and didn't have shit happen. So, Handyman's Delight. But like areas like mine are way overinflated, and the reason I say it has to come back down is because property hasn't adjusted according to the housing market still. So as soon as building is back available, and due to the fact that property is still cheap, houses are still expensive, 
building is becoming more popular again. So it's cheaper right now to build a new house than it is to buy a used home. They have to come back down. Um, and as more and more material becomes available and builders start getting back into the trade, because that was the issue, what happened was the cr housing crash forever ago, builders just basically got out of the business and the only builders that were left were all Allen Edwins and these big corporate companies that, you know, they, they basically took up what was left of the market share and that was it. Your uh, independent builders are, were pretty much dead, but they're coming back now because the price of property is still dirt cheap and the price of houses is sky high. So uh, it has to balance back out. Lumber prices have already come back. And people didn't think those were going to go back, but they already did. But it's still things you can't, still simple things you can't get, like fixtures. Uh, I, I heard uh, hardware for cabinets and stuff like that is like impossible to find right now. So this conversation's too adult for me. But in my neck of the woods, you can still get like a couple acres of land for like 25, 30 grand. So to tell me a 50 year old house is worth 180 grand, it, the math's not there. It's just, it's just, it's not realistic. It's All right, I have to take my dog out because she's very upset with me. If you can come with me, chat. Like, my voice. Empty space here in America? Yeah, we complain about being crowded and stuff, but the majority of our states are still <coughs> not at all. <laughs> Which is also our complaints about gas prices and stuff, even though gas isn't high compared to the rest of the world, our travel times and stuff, and our need for car without public transportation is a lot higher than the demand of the rest of the world. It's 15 minutes for me to get to a store by car, and there is no public transportation. Pickup trucks? Pickup trucks trucks are going away. The need for them just because uh, of all-wheel drive, I think, personally. That's why the sports utility vans have become so popular. They Chat board outside. My channel. Chat. Come on, Mila. Maddie. Maddie. death now. <laughs> yeah, so there's still work trucks for sure. I just mean for like the general consumer. The average Joe with a pickup truck is a lot less common. Even my dad went to a van. dog just like went deaf in a month I mean she's 14 years old I guess she went deaf in 14 years in a month but she went from being a 14 year old dog to <laughs> they could hear them month. I want a truck so bad but there's so much money dude and that's another one that's probably still hasn't come back down on 
but I just when I bought houses for thirty grand, it's hard to justify sixty thousand dollars for a fucking truck. And that's like the low end trucks right now. But I just keep driving my two thousand one one Dodge Ram. It's Coyotes. They're ten grand more here anyway in Michigan than what they were last year because I was almost pulled the trigger on one last year. My ex-wife stuck me with this fucking SUV that I hate. But I've almost got it paid off now, so it's kinda like a sh a shitty situation, because... Come on, Mila. Come on. Because it's a 2017 with 50,000 miles, and I don't want to just... get rid of something like that that I own, but it doesn't suit my needs, you know? a bitch. But even if I sold it, it's nowhere near the price tag of a truck. I used to flip cars a lot when I was younger. Do a lot of buying and selling. I should do more of it again. Oh wait, I don't need one. The peel of trucks? Well, I fish is my number one hobby in my life. And uh, trucks are sort of necessary for pulling a boat. Don't tell me that. I'm so worried about this one. Every time she doesn't answer me. But that's the worst part about her being deaf now, is every time I come in the house and she's not sitting there waiting for me at the door, I'm like, oh, she's dead. Time did I say I had on my ticket? 20 minutes? We're not going to make it. Hi, Daniel. Oh, that sucks, Angel. Oh, it does send you all the way back. Okay. I thought it kicked you out close to shore. I don't have any of the fish the cafe wants. You piece of fish.
Yeah, last year I was looking at getting the 2500, but this year I'm like, no way. We also have all the bike trailers and stuff and hauling Harleys around and the lawnmower for the business and stuff like that. I tried to share one with my dad, but the fucker smokes too much and it drives me insane. Makes me want a cigarette so bad. <laughs> I had to stop watching uh, the shitty Cowboy Bebop remake because the dude smokes too much. I was in a mood where I really wanted a cigarette. And that dude would not stop smoking. What the fuck? I made $1,100? How much was that ass worth? Three hundred and forty six. I made eleven hundred dollars. Is this better than Russian Fishing Three? Yes. That's insane. Yeah, those ass for just money, man. $950 an ask. That was my most expensive fish ever. Setting records over here. was thinking about leaving, but after that payday, that was 800 bucks without the fucking ASP. Without the uh, trophy. Let me squish a baby perch. Squish it, wrap it in cellophane, put it in your pocket. Two forty three jerk baits have to be done on a jerk bait rod, don't they? Gotta squish the fish, man. They haven't expanded on these much, huh? Muscle has its own unique sound.
keep forgetting what numbers my rods are set to. No, there's not drama with Russian Fishing 3. All the other Russian Fishing games don't really exist. They were like browser-based bullshit. I think it was a really dumb design choice to call this Russian Fishing 4 and not just give it its own name. Not just start the franchise over. This is the first actual video game they've created. But that putting the four on the end when no one has heard of one, two, or three really makes it sound like a joke. On top of the fact that it's Russian and the entirety of the world sees Russia as a meme. And if you, like, you really wanted to make it an expansion and didn't want to just reuse the Russian fishing name, like, throw a fucking random, you know, uh, ultra on the end or something. An extreme with an X. The pro fishing. Yeah, yeah, there you go. a decent fish, I think. Maybe not Russian fishing for 20XXX. Yeah, yeah, yeah. $50. We like those. Oh yeah, we like those too. 60, we already paid for our boat ticket, baby. I mean, we paid for our boat ticket in that first fish, but... For a boto. I hate that. And love it. Don't tell anyone. Weekly record... Did the weekly record just reset, or is this no one fishing for ASP? You aren't using a jitterbug, are you even fishing? Dude, I never have luck with jitterbugs. A guy I used to fish with is always killing it with a jitterbug, and it'd drive me crazy. Because he'd... Catch a fish with that fucking jitterbug, and then take it off. Yeah, yeah. Must just be a US weekly. I bounce around on what I use, but lately it's all soft plastics. I was a big big into crankbaits for a while. I guess I used a bit of jerk baits this year. Lures are just great names.
it is so funny to me how much people will fucking play shitty fishing in games like WoW and Final Fantasy and RuneScape and and then rag on an actual fishing game <laughs> like it's boring Stardew like I, I don't I'm not giving shit to those games like you know I also fish in those games but I don't get how people then rip on an actual fishing game I'm trying to think I just saw a streamer that did like fucking 18 hour fishing in the new whatever new MMO came out with 10,000 people watching and I'm sure it was just fucking click the bobber. Stardew's what game made you give Russian fishing a try? I fished a lot in Stardew. Stardew's fishing was decent. Oh, is it basically Stardew, Jesse? Yeah. I really wanted to try that fucking Moonglow Bay or whatever it was you were playing. Until you showed me the fishing was broken. And then I was like, well, take that one off my list. Also hilarious that the fishing was broken and it wasn't like immediately patched because it feels like fishing is kind of important in that game. Yeah, I mean, wow, fishing. I don't know if they ever changed it, but it was literally just stare at the bobber and click it. It's horrible. And I did it. The fishing was a vehicle for the story. I know, but it still seemed like it was like a big part of the game. I guess maybe it was an intentional here. You don't want to actually fish. You just want the story skip it. Skip the fishing. You weren't supposed to get caught on this, but I won't complain. I wish a new fishing sim would come out though, so I had some more uh, progress to chase. I gotta go after all these quests. Catch a trophy fish using a wobbler at depth of at least four meters. That's a very random thing to do. Though if I keep hammering ass like this, I may actually be able to make gear progress in this game for the first time in a year. I really wish Sega Bass, or whatever it was, Bass Master would have been better.
I thought that would have been the the right level of arcadey that I could have convinced chat to fuck off with me in Battlegrounds it, but it was just so bad. <laughs> No, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Oh, that popped off immediately, huh? Well, now you have to make it. I'll boycott it. They did play it on an LSS, but they had, like, friends. A good excuse to play it. I mean, it did say Chunk Panda. I won't forget Chunk Panda. What if there's a chance you lose toes and fingers? I still hate that I'll have to... The problem with anything related to noodling ever being created is I have to answer the question of, do you noodle? Anytime I bring up fishing. And then get mad. Yeah, the dynamite fishing has been less, just like once or twice today. Big eyed. Man, all up and down here feels pretty fucking good, actually. Noodling with dynamite, dynamite in your hands. You just shove a handful of dynamite into a hole and hope the fish bites onto your dynamite hands. <laughs> I mean, I get it though, Jasky. Like it, like I, I mean, I was obviously kidding, but the internet, the majority of the internet, even non-Americans, Russian is Russia is just a meme, so people just assume they use the word Russian, it's gonna have fucking all the dumb Russian stereotypes that exist on the internet in it. I mean, Russia hasn't really done. The I mean, Florida man is worse than Russia, let's be honest. You also need to stop walking away without informing me you've walked away, Tommy, because I talked to you for like an hour and you weren't here. Would I play Florida Man Fishing? Yeah, definitely. And I would assume that Florida Man Fishing was a joke. didn't inform me and I talked to you the whole time tell him chat I was just having a conversation one-sided conversation with Tommy well you can walk away Brandland that's allowed you're not fishing with me you can't go from fishing with me to disappear without saying he didn't even say tight lines Though Jasky did it to me earlier, too, when I was trying to tell him about the new houses they added. I 
I can understand pooping. Yeah, yeah. But they added the houses on c the new revamped Cory. They're only ninety grand. It's a bargain. Yeah, you got to get you one of these uh, gamer toilets, Jesse. See that? Look at that. Watch and poop. You think this? You think these monitors are set here for any reason other than it's directly in front of the toilet? is because I have no fucking space in my home. Is the power still out in that bathroom? <laughs> Bran, how long ago are you here? Like two years? Yes, the power is still out in that bathroom. I don't know why. I think the whole bathroom is wired in series, and that's why. I un I uh, a little bit unwired the. Oh baby. Oh Jassy, I unwired the hot water here, and shortly thereafter the power didn't work. And I have always assumed the two have something to do with one another. Shooting in the dark for how long? Long time. I put a lantern in there for a while when I had a lady friend visiting. <laughs> like a little camping lantern, you know, in case you wanted to see. Is this house still holding it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. was working before really so then that's not what it is thanks for informing me ooh baby baby I love those well thanks for telling me it's not what I thought it was so now I'll never fix it every once in a while I think have I changed the light bulb and I'm like yeah I have to have changed the light bulb But, you know, <laughs> there's always a chance. Yeah, it's, I think that was part of how I realized the whole bathroom was out, Brand, and not just the light was because I was trying to charge. Your batteries are right over here. I use them all the time still. Those were a great investment. They were expensive, but man, do I use them for fucking everything. And I never have to worry about not having electricity. Solar is going to be in the house, yeah. Wasn't the price of that supposed to come down like 10 years ago? They started like 3D printing solar panels and shit.
The only stupid thing with them, Bran, is the uh, the beeping alarm telling you that it's going dead. So, like, there was uh, one time my power was out for, like, 18 hours. And I was charging my phone. And it was beeping. The big battery was beeping that it was going dead. But my phone was also going dead. So I just had to sit there for, like, 12 minutes with the battery beeping at me, telling me it's going dead. You know, it'd probably last longer if it wasn't beeping nonstop for 12 minutes. But they're great. I use them, I've used them to jumpstart my car, my boat. Oh, I know why, Laughter. I'm, I'm well aware of the why. That was the whole joke. Was they keep coming up with more ways for solar to be cost-effective, and then it keeps not becoming more cost-effective. I used to play magic with a guy who owned a solar power company. Poor Dick Tree. I know, it ain't even the same. I don't like the look of the water there, Jassy. It's uh, hard on the eyes. Like, it looks more realistic, yes. But it's hard on the old gamer eyes. Though staring at glass water like this is incredibly unrealistic for days on end. Yeah, my mom is still one of those people, Lacker, that thinks she's going to get solar panels and stick it to the man. I'm like, you're 30 years late. She also uses so little electricity that she's and sh at her age that they'd never justify the cost. <laughs> She'd never make her money back installing them. I bet if Florida could charge for this on, they would. A little sun tax. I mean, it gives free cancer after all. Well, is that a different Harry? I'm just set weekly records all day. Oh yeah, that was a Bresnikinoff. It looks almost identical. How do you tell the difference? It's a tiny bit darker on its forehead, I think. We did a color colorblindness test, my daughter and I today, and I've never been so frustrated it was one of those dumb number in a circle things and i could not see the numbers at all the ones i could see were uh too blurry to tell and like they were intentionally like trying to prove your colorblindness so they'd like fake you out and, be, and i'd be like that's a three and they're like this is actually an eight, but if you're red, green, colorblind, it'll appear to you as a three. And I'm like, you cunts! And then my daughter was making fun of me. It was a whole bad experience. Damn these colorblind eyes.
I should just steal her eyes. I mean, I made him. She's also super, like, uh, artsy. So, not only does she tell me I'm wrong about colors all the time, because I am, but then she's got to hit me with, like, no, Dad, that's violet. And I'm like, fucking violet's purple. Shush. The fishing was really hot for a minute. What happened? Should I go back there? There's this little dead spot in here, I think. She doesn't even need glasses yet. Who is this child? More importantly, who's her father? You're the only one in your family without glasses? Yeah, but your family's rich. They probably gave you, like, special drugs when you were a baby. You probably have my eyes. Your parents just bought... <laughs> bought my eyes and I got yours genetically engineered yeah I've seen the deep space nine Man, that'll be a fucked up time when we can ge genetically engineer our children. I don't know if I want to be around for that. I did see they've got a cool, cheap deal on cryogenically freezing you right as you die in Arizona. Thinking about signing up for that. It's cheaper if we sign up together, chat. Well, yeah, it's got to be right as you die or it's illegal. It's murder. Nah, that's not worthless. Only like, no, dude, it's only like fucking uh, 40 bucks a month. It ain't even expensive. If we do it with a family plan, it's like 40 bucks a month. You can get just your brain frozen for cheaper. Do you want to come back as a Futurama head? You're not actually dead? No, you are dead. It's They even admit, like, you're dead with the hope that we figure out a way to somehow revive you eventually in the future. I'm like, hell yeah, dude. I'm in. When, they when your money runs out, do they just empty your fridge on the side of the road? I assume they cremate you. That's usually how people cheaply dispose of a body. I'm sure they have a, like, I didn't care about the what happens if you run out of money part. Because, like, I mean, there's got to be something for that. I'm sure that's in their legally binding contract. Oh, dude, that eagle? They added the quarry? <laughs> He'll get you. He'll sneak up on you, too. He doesn't fuck around. Yeah, maybe they just take an organ. That'd be a good, I'd, I'd do that deal, like... Once your bank account runs empty, they just start, you know, they to get a kidney. But I love that they had a family plan. It was like 60 bucks a month and then like $30 for every family member after that. I was like, hell yeah. What a deal. Who's the lunatic that wants to create a utopia in the desert? 
He's a billionaire. He was big involved with Walmart. Anyone know his name? I think he was involved with PayPal too at one point. Anyway, this billionaire dude who wants to create a utopia has bought a business in my town. Which my town is an incredibly tiny town in the middle of fucking nowhere. And everyone that works there is has to sign NDAs and is like, they have security and all this shit. And I'm like, dude, what are they doing in my tiny little town? I don't want to die like this. Mark, it might be that guy. Billionaire Utopia. Utopian City. Yeah, Mark Lore. Resident it sounds like some Resident Evil shit, right? That'd be tight, though. I don't feel like the uh, zombie apocalypse would really... I mean, I know coming off of COVID, or in the middle of COVID even, uh, that sounds optimistic, but I really feel like there's enough of us who've watched too many zombie movies to, like, if people start biting, we start shooting. I'm just saying. Coughing and sneezing is one thing, but people start biting each other. So at least being in the like starting home of zombiehood, I might get in on some of the, get in on the ground floor, get to experience it a little. But it freaks me out that a billionaire is in my town of 1500 people with a business that requires NDAs. It just can't be good. He can't be up to any good. It was a business that did fucking military contracts, but it was all like fiberglass stuff. I knew the guy that owned it before. Uh, and they did like all this fiberglass work for Hummer parts and stuff, military contracts. So it might just be he bought it out, but it's like not a big enough business that you'd think a billionaire would show any interest in it, especially in the middle of fucking nowhere. Very weird. What business? Uh, what did they call it? I don't know the name, name of this new one, because, like, everyone's being very serious about their NDAs. I've been sniffing around though. What was it called? Uh, it was. No, not that. Uh, American Defense Composites. what it used to be. I hate that name. Yep. But it was just fiberglass work for Hummers. They used to be a hot rod shop. It's actually funny. Uh, change of business. His dad owned a hot rod shop. And they made uh, custom hot rods with fiberglass bodies instead of using the real like they did like 32 Fords and all those that you could make a fiberglass body replica instead of using a real 32 Ford. Uh, and when his dad was ready to retire, he sold the, the brand. 
and his son was all pissed off about it and wanted to try to continue making cars anyway. So he like got in this big legal battle trying to make like classic cars instead of hot rods uh, under the same name using the same company. And then that didn't work out. He didn't win that lawsuit. So he ended up getting into using that Fallout fiberglass equipment to make parts for the military. Yeah, that's exactly it, propane. That's exactly where I'm at. I'm like, why the fuck here? Like, because even if the company had value, <laughs> you'd move it, right? Is there a fish on that? That line is doing weird shit, and that pole is straight up and down. There is a fish that's swimming with the boat. I've never seen that before. Just following us. So if I disappear, um, uh, billionaires did it. Or if you hear about like some weird uh, explosion in a small Michigan town, and I and I don't ever log back online, you'll know what happened. We have a Welch's here, and I've always dreamed of that exploding because I just want to see, like, millions of gallons of grape juice flood our town. It'd be really cool. I could take my pontoon out and drive around town through the grape juice. There was a great molasses flood, was there? I don't know how much grape juice we hold, dude, but those tanks are insanely large. Somebody told me once how much each tank holds. And they just keep adding more of them. Burn people alive like lava? Fucking what? The Boston molasses disaster. Two million gallons of molasses, huh? It went 35 miles in of it. So when somebody says you're going as quick as molasses, you could be going 35. You could be hauling ass. I never heard of that. That's amazing. Yeah, I've always wanted that to happen here, but with grape juice. Seems less dangerous than hot molasses. That's like napalm on your skin. Sticky, hot, sticky molasses coming through the streets at 35 miles an hour? That's horrifying. <laughs> Simpsons even referenced it? Well, I haven't seen every episode of The Simpsons. I'm sorry.
The Aquila's always there for you. Dude, you need to log on for Christmas, Jasky, because the Christmas spinner is hot, 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 too. I think it's like a slightly better Aquila. I'm excited to buy more this year because I've been terrified of losing. I have like one of every color and I've been terrified of losing them. Hi, Profane. Are you using the Aquila on Cory? I wasn't having like any luck on Cory, and the luck I was having was with weird shit. It's deceptively bigger though, isn't it? It's a lot nicer to troll. At first it doesn't seem that much bigger, but the lake is a lot bigger than it was. And there's three islands now, so you can do a lot more bottom fishing from different angles. Actually, I don't know if you can get off on all the islands. You could if you tried hard enough, I'm sure. Just come. An auto battler or a fighting game? Um, no. It's a simulator, I, be I believe. Sun is realistically annoying. And your lines cannot get tangled in each other. perch but it's hitting i was having a lot of luck trolling the west side of the lake over around instead of around the island like i used to always have good luck around the island the luck i was having and a ton of pike over there by that creek like a shitload of pike Line tangling in fishing is not, I'm, I'm, I'm here to try to convince everyone that fishing is good and cool. Line tangling is another fishing myth. It's not that bad. Tangling two lines together is not that complicated. Can you not untwist two lines in real life? Is it really that difficult that you would just fucking throw your pole in the water? doesn't seem unlikely that it would actually not. Very rarely. In order for something to truly not, it has to... You get more knots from your reel than you get from lines tangling. The reel causes more problems due to the fact that it turns into like an old-timey telephone cord because everything's round. But you really do not... Uh, like, I do not worry about tangling lines. 
In order for lines to get massively tangled, it has to be a fish on the other end. The fish can do enough to make knots, because it'll swim around the line, right? But, like, otherwise they just twirl around each other. But, like, most of the time I cast over line. I cast over lines intentionally all the time. You just reel up the line and then drop it off on the other side. IRL, I troll six, sometimes seven rods off my boat. Yeah, they get tangled. You untangle them. It takes like 10 seconds. God gave us thumbs for a reason, yo. I didn't see a single seven yesterday. I forgot they exist. Oh no, I caught a baby one. It's God's here to tell you true. Untangle your lines. Both the guys I fish with, if their lines twist, they cut it. And I'm like, just take two seconds to untangle it. Maybe it's because I'm poor. Some weeds with three musculars in it. Yeah, snags are another. That's a whole nother game. There's a whole nother part. This, the one thing in this game that is in most fishing sims and this game. Oh god, I didn't have my fucking bail closed. That's incredibly unrealistic is... Especially with the amount of rivers in this game. The odds of your line being able to swim around in the water and not wrap around a log or a fucking bush of weeds or... God knows what that's on the bottom of a river. You're, you're, you're not gonna fight a fish for two hours in a freshwater river without that fish wrapping you around a log. It's just not gonna happen. <laughs> a shoe. I have caught shoes. Well, I caught one, my brother caught one. I caught one underwater. He caught one off someone's dock while the man was standing there. My little brother has like casting anxiety. Anytime someone is Anytime he's casting near someone's boat or dock when they're outside, he is 100% going to catch it and embarrass us. He can cast perfectly fine otherwise, but the minute someone is out there and the pressure is on, he's going to hook their pontoon. Over their shoe. He loves the whopper plopper. It is deadly. I'm a tree guy. I'm big on snagging trees. But I also run heavy enough gear that I can just usually rip it out. I actually like to use the tree. <laughs> I'll throw it over the branch and then like teabag the lure in and out of the water. Because it's really funny when the fish jumps up and grabs it and then you reel them up and over the branch. It's very funny. The teabag technique... Is surprisingly effective. A whopper plopper? It's a... It's like a Rapala. Like a plastic fish. But the tail is a propeller. So when you're reeling it in, it goes... Blah, 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 across the top of the water. Quite effective. Looks, uh, oh, I don't even have one. But it looks similar to this, but with the tail as a propeller. Best time of year. Oh, wait, best time of year. Time of day and year. Time of day is irrelevant. Well, it depends on species. But most species, it's irrelevant. Uh, 
um, changes as the time of year changes and everything. But anyway, uh, spring and fall are, you know, the best. Pre-spawn, when they're eating like crazy because they're going to get big and big and horny. So they know to, to get some fuel in there. And then uh, right before winter, same deal. They're going to eat a ton and prepare for winter. But most fish eat day and night. I think morning and, you know, just before morning and just before sunset are still the best for, like, every species. Even, like, catfish and stuff like that. But there are a few fish that don't eat at night. Pike. I've never caught a pike at night. I've heard they don't bite at night. But I'm sure they would if the conditions were perfect. But they're a very visual hunter and don't see good at night, I guess. There's always exceptions to everything with fishing. Top water is kind of the same deal. Like most people won't throw top water on a bright sunny day because fish don't like to look up at the sun. Makes sense. However, some days, middle of the sunny, bright summer day, top water is slaying it for me. It's crazy how good fish can hunt at night. I troll at night, you know, three mile an hour, two and a half, I guess more like two and a half mile an hour, two and a half mile an hour, dragging a fucking lure at night, and they hammer it all summer long. Technique is more important, though, with the seasons and stuff, like knowing when fish are, you know, actively hunting and actively, or, or willing to be active, chase a bait, chase, chase a lure. Um, compared to when you need to slow down and find a lazy fish. I shouldn't say lazy, more lethargic because they're freezing or too hot. I live in pretty temperate area though in Michigan. It doesn't ever get crazy hot. So I think all summer long's pretty good here. I can't imagine like what 110 degrees how the fish react to that. I'm sure that slows them way the fuck down. Our peak water temperatures are like uh though we have smaller lakes, so maybe the water temperatures get pretty similar. The Texas water temperatures ever reach silly, like fucking 90 degrees? Because I think our peak water temperatures are like low 80s. depth of lake than size. I mean, there's a ton of conditions that affect lake temperature, but we have a lot of glacier lakes where they were just a whole, they're natural, they're water table, so they have no inlets, no outlets, um, and they get pretty warm, actually. You don't need to see 90s. Yeah, I, I figured you don't have, you know, my lake's 80 acres and with no inlet or outlet. Nothing to nothing but air temp to heat it up and cool it down. I imagine the lakes like in Kentucky and stuff that are ten thousand acres and it's a river probably don't get as hot as I think they should because they have movement.
Well, yeah, you're getting into volume, right? On, as well there, on you. But usually depth is a result of springs and, and water flow. In my experience here in Michigan, I'm not super familiar with every world, everywhere in the world, but in my experience, deeper lakes, it is because of <clears throat> water flow. They kind of go hand in hand. Yeah, Bubba, I figure. Because, like, southeast, anyway, which I'm pretty familiar with fishing now, they're just, you know, every pretty much every lake, lake in the southeast is just a dammed up river. And they're massive dammed up rivers. They're reservoirs. I got six lakes in my town, and I think, like, only two of them are connected to rivers. And they're not even rivers, they're creeks. Stupid nighttime, ruining my fishing. I think this game does a bad job of reflecting fishing at night. In reality, changing lure color should be all it takes to keep fish going all night long. Darker lures work way better at night. They contrast better against the sky. The golden rule of night fishing is uh, every color works as long as it's black. That. Yeah, it's a little counterintuitive till you think about it, but fish, 90% of the time when you catch a fish, you're taking the lure above the fish, not below the fish. Fish are looking up. Um, and so the darker body of the lure creates a better silhouette against the night sky because the water is so dark. A white lure disappears in the dark water. And same goes with muddy water, I'm pretty sure. I don't fish a lot of muddy water, but I'm pretty sure it's the same concept, contrast you want. Orange and brown and things that are going to have that silhouette effects. Where here we do a lot of silver and shiny. Because we have super clear water where that shiny and silver is going to have a big impact. And I think this game reflects that a little bit. I have had good luck swapping color patterns with weather. I think this game really suffers from the leaderboards and everyone chasing the same lures that people just caught the weekly record on. First thing in the morning. First thing in the morning is a great time. Um, the best thing about first thing in the morning is, I don't know why Weatherman Doge can tell you, but it's always calm. Obviously, always is a lie, but uh, it's so much calmer in the morning. Some pressure thing, I'm sure. And the water looks like this on my lake, like most mornings, where evenings it's fucking windy and gusty. In short, temperature inversions lift wind of this off the surface. Yeah. I figured it was some weird pressure thing. I love morning fishing at my lake especially because it's down in a, a hole 
So, like every morning in the summer is this beautiful glass like this with just thick fucking fog. And it's super awesome to fish in. Differential heating. That's what creates wind. It's not just God up there going. <laughs> you sure? God, can you can you chime in on this one? The wind is sleepy in the morning. That's fair. Me too. So that is why those fall, those random warm fall days are always like crazy windy too. We just had one like two days ago. It was like, it was like 30 degrees, 30 degrees, 30 degrees, 50 degrees with 20 mile an hour wind. What is, like, uh, proper humidity? Like, uh, I don't know, is there a term for this? Like, room temperature? Is there a room humidity? What is the, the, the percent humidity you would like in a room? Does it vary wildly by location? Or like household humidity? I just assumed that people had like cool climate controlled homes. Normal living humidity is 40 to 60. Hmm. I busted out this old uh, dehumidifier I had and I was just curious. Ooh, that's a that's a nice money fish on the tiny spinner of all things 60 70 bucks in the bank baby I was more just curious because uh, the bottom half my house underground and it's felt pretty humid with this wet fall weather. So I was going to bust out the dehumidifier and then it's like, choose your humidity percentage. And I was like, fuck, I don't know. And I got distracted before I Googled it. But this reminded me to ask without having to Google. Yeah, I had pill bugs I'd, uh, find a leak for me this year. It was the first time I ever had it happen. I guess it happens in some places. But uh, I kept finding this random pile of dead pill bugs. I was like, what the fuck is killing these pill bugs right here? But I realized by Googling pile of dead pill bugs that they were attracted to moisture from somewhere. And then when they get too far away from the moisture, they die because they're actually a fucking crab and not even a bug at all. Basically, I, I paraphrasing Google here. But I've realized my hot water heater had a tiny leak. Oh, thanks, dead pill bugs. They really are a 
That sneaky land crab, yeah. I, I did not know they were a whatever. Mollusk, crustacean, whatever they are. Do they taste good? Probably. Isopod, arthropod, decapod. All right, you're all just coming up with your own pod names. Pillbug. Let's stick to Pillbug. Moist bug. Terrestrial crustacean. Yeah. I was right when I said crustacean. Fuck yeah, bud. Land crabs, man. Dang old roly poly. I prefer pill bug to roly poly. I'm an adult, you see. Jasky, shame that motherfucker. Get him. Get him. Oops, I forgot to... Fuck <laughs> that stupid perch. Wow. He's not even a land crab. Regular old water fish. Oh, I wasn't looking at that pole. I had lost faith in it. I'm wondering if my child calls them pill bugs or roly poly. I hope it's roly poly. Funky Minnow has never, and Terminator have never worked for me. I see them on lists all the time, and they've never been productive for me. Like Firefly versus Lightning Bug? Nah, I th it's universal here. I, we use them all. I use both Firefly and Lightning Bug. Both Roly Poly, Pill Bug. I guess, how many states don't have lightning bugs? Is it a, it's a daddy long, I've never heard harvest man, that's creepy as fuck, it's a daddy long legs. Seven, thanks Ram, I hope you're accurate. Maybe. I hope you just know that. That's just a fact you know. That's a cool fact to know. Ooh! It's funny, I never even thought about it. The fact that everywhere doesn't have fireflies. And I've done so many cross-country road trips. you think I would have noticed. Yeah, Harvest Man is a scary name for a spider. Daddy Long Legs is like kind of horny, which is cool. Yeah, that's a Daddy Long Legs, bro. Not a Harvest Man. And there's the not sure if it's true rumor myth that they're like the most poisonous spider on the earth but they can't bite you but everybody likes to say that about them you and know, i don't even care if it's true at this point
You have a different daddy? <laughs> Jasky? Aww. It's false. They can bite you too. Oh, it's false that they're... It, both parts of that are false? That's funny. Oceanic has a different daddy. Setting weekly records over here like crazy. Two eyes and no web. They don't make a web? I never noticed. I, you, now that you mention, I do see them just kind of roaming. All right, now we're on the topic of regional. Is killing a daddy long legs mean it's gonna rain? Because that's the way I was raised. If you kill a daddy long legs, you're gonna make it rain. And not like. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Might have just been my family. But that's for spiders in general. All right. Someone else has at least heard it, and I'm not crazy. And I always just assumed it was like a, you know, keep kids from killing bug that's friendly. I've heard that, but also from southwest Michigan. That's an incredible... We've shrunk this region incredibly small for the two people that have heard it. Oh, that got off. Wait, what? There's a fish on there? Maybe it didn't? I just stopped patrolling over? I don't know. I'm confused. The region is 10 feet from my childhood home. Jimmy, is that you? You're southern Alberta. I mean, practically Michigan. Wait, that's wrong. Wrong province. Practically Michigan. Daddy long legs still eat other insects? What do they do for me? Why am I not supposed to kill them? If, not, if it's not for the fact that they're going to change the weather, like storm, they eat just about anything. They eat other spiders? Hell yeah. Fucking hate other spiders. It's unreal. How many different species of spiders exist by the water? I hadn't lived near a lake since I was a child, but that was like the most shocking discovery of moving to a lake. Is there used to be three types of spiders in my life, now there's like 38. I found this list. Daddy long leg spider, carpenter spider, daddy long legger, vibrating spider, gyrating spider. A lot of these are horny. Long daddy. A lot of these are horny. They do kind of sound like fishing lures. Clump up? I've never seen a big fluffy ball of spiders. I would hate that. Like, legitimately, the only two spiders I ever saw growing up off, off away from the water were fucking daddy long legs and wolf spiders. The red, there's no other spiders. Some weird tiny ones, but, like, who cares when they're tiny?
Yeah, you're late to the party, Lafferty. We're still calling them spiders here, but we would. A whip scorpion. I don't know. Is that an actual scorpion? I've never seen a scorpion in real life. Are those those things they eat on fucking uh, Joe Rogan? <laughs> they eat off Joe Rogan's bald head in that show from the early 2000s. Fear factor. I got there. Took me a while. I've never seen one of those except in Fear Factor. I'm upset that nobody else understood ate them off Joe Rogan's bald head as Fear Factor, honestly. I feel like that was a really good clue. Busy fishing, thanks, Jasmine. That's why you're my Cody's partner. None of these fucking losers. I miss Cody's. I was thinking about that a couple days ago. <laughs> I was watching Survivor last week, and this lady was like, they were in the jury part, which is where they just sit around talking, and this lady had a fucking beetle land on her that was bigger than any insect I've ever seen in my life and she like didn't react to it and I was like I don't care how fake Survivor is the fact that she is conditioned to accept giant ass beetles landing on her without shitting her pants and running into a tree screaming is too real for me I mean the thing was like fucking this big it flew and landed on her, and she didn't even lose her goddamn mind. Yeah, I know, that's what I'm saying. Like, as fake as the show is, they still have to, like, deal with that shit. And that's... I'm out. Nope. Big Beatles. That's it for me. Specifically beetles. Other bugs? I can squash them. And they don't fucking bug me too bad. The beetles fuck me up, man. They got that hard, crunchy shell. So when I crush them, I feel awful about it. So I don't want to crush them, but I don't want them on me. Hate beetles. They're too crunchy. My sa the same issue I have with Honey Nut Cheerios. Flavor's fine. Too damn crunchy. Dobson Fly. I know that name, so I've probably seen one. What was the thing that happened this year with locusts and or the other thing that's like locusts but not a locust? You've seen something that big in Michigan? I'm moving. Time to go further north. Cicadas? Yeah, those are kind of creepy. We have... Uh these disgusting water bug critters. I think they're like a mayfly larva or something. It's some it's some process of a bug turning into another bug, but uh, they crawl out of the water and just cover shit and leave their dead carapace behind. And they're gross looking. I think it's just a fucking mayfly, Doge. Mayfly life 
cycle. Yeah, it's just the Mayfly Nymph, I think. <laughs> I didn't even want to pronounce it. Bran, I'm with you. Fuck that word. It sounds like some insult in Harry Potter. One of my favorite bug moments ever, Pasty Swag is terrified of all bugs. All of them. Uh, actually, like, all my favorite bug moments are Pasty related. One time our car broke down on the side of the freeway and we had to walk down the side of the, the, the interstate with cars zooming by at 75, 80 miles an hour. And every single time a grasshopper would jump anywhere near him, he would run out into the interstate. I was certain he was going to die or kill someone else. Um, but my favorite one was we were, <laughs> we were driving at night to go get fast food <laughs> and, uh, a Katie did. I don't know if you've ever heard of Katie did. It went off in my car. And, uh... <laughs> he made me stop in the middle of the road. Jumped out of the... Stood up in the seat. Made me stop in the middle of the road. And then just jumped out of the car. Running and screaming through traffic. Nearly avoiding death. Katie did's are cicadas. All right, whatever, dude. Bugs are dumb, and they should just give them names and stop having 17 names. I always threaten to mail him, like, a box of bugs. You know, there's all these things you can get on Amazon, like a box of ladybugs. Every time he's misbehaving, I threaten to mail him a box of bugs. Because, like, nobody can resist opening a random package that shows up at their door. But at any time, it could have been me sending him bugs. What's the flick do? Which flick? Am I s when I sometimes go like that, I'm just letting a little more line out quickly. Or the click sound. This sound. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's just me letting a little extra line out. So my lures are too light for most of my rods. So they're not casting optimal distance from the boat. But because I'm driving in my boat, I just, you know, give it a little and let it suck a little extra line out to make up for my short casts. Live bug boxes normally come marked as such. Well, the threat of live bugs is all I need, I think. I'm never going to actually spend money on my friends. That's disgusting. My brother fucking kept crickets in his house for one of his dumb lizards. I could never live with crickets in my home. I would absolutely kill myself. in your house for over a decade, I would, I would die. 
How does he feel about worms? Like, I've never put a worm on him, but I assume he hates them as much as... His least favorite are moths. <laughs> he really despises things that fly, which is honestly the fairest thing, because anything that flies, you just... It's sketchy. You never know when it's just going to jump up in your fucking face. I, that's why I don't like birds. Pigeons freak me out. Pigeons? Yeah, 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 yeah. There's the problem with pigeons is how unreliable they are. You can walk by three thousand pigeons, and they don't give a fuck about you. But you randomly walk by some pigeon who's all fucked up on methamphetamine, and he jumps up in your face, freaking shit. That's why I hate him. Seagulls are similar. They don't jump up in your face so much, but, like, usually they'll keep a decent distance from you, but randomly you get that seagull who's going to steal the french fry out of your mouth. With some fucked up pigeons, we do. It might exist somewhere, though. Why are pigeons doing meth there? I mean, they're dumb birds, and there's a lot of meth. Meth happens, man. I was really just trying to make an excuse for the bird for why it was being a sh piece of shit, but the reality is it was probably just a piece of shit bird. Geese are mean. Swans are worse. Geese uh, flee from me in terror. Swans don't. And that freaks me out. Plus, a swan could whoop my ass. Let's be honest. A geese, I stand a chance. That is a fat shad. Did I say a geese? I think I did. A geese. I got bit by a goose when I was a kid at a bird sanctuary, so I couldn't even hit it. <laughs> Sorry, I love my dumb jokes sometimes. And that one that one was a winner for me. I haven't seen geese fuck around too much. Unless they've got babies. And then it's like super easy to stay away. And like, they don't... You have to go out of your way to piss off a waterfowl. Even swans with babies. You have to go out of your way to piss one off. five meters fuck around and find out maybe i just am lucky that i'm not strolling up on geese nests but i have had no real issue oh nice little money i wondered that jess yeah because i know that people are stupid at chasing birds they had fucking free-range peacocks at the zoo for years, but they eventually got rid of them after some kid got bit. But, like, every time I'm at the zoo, kids are just chasing these poor peacocks around all day long. 
I'm like, please, put the animal in the cage. As much as I hate to see animals in pens and cages, like, you'd be doing these peacocks a huge favor by l locking them up. It didn't say I lost that fish, so nobody knows. I mean, sure, Oak, but the, the reality is the zoo's never going to tell parents to stop sucking. So the best thing they could do for those peacocks was they eventually just got rid of them. They weren't attraction-worthy. Yeah, they're super territorial. We have a, a road around here that everyone just calls the Peacock Road because some people have peacocks that they just let roam around and they're always standing in the fucking street. And they make pretty roadkill. Not a lot of animals look nice when they're runned over, but you know what? A splattered peacock leaves its beautiful feathers all over the road. What the fuck's a guinea fowl? I don't think so. We got all kinds of birds, man. Ducks, chickens, geese. They're all free range. Peacocks. There could be some random... Uh, <laughs> what, what, are they, what are they called? Indian runners or something like that? They're ducks that, that walk. They, they run. They don't really like the water that much. Some dumbass is on the lake that my daughter, we had to go to a birthday party at their house. They got they, they bought ducks and like didn't know that these were land ducks, not water ducks. So they just have these stupid land ducks at the lake. Dumb land ducks, yeah. The best part is the ducks roost on the kids' heads. So, like, the kids will just be, like, walking across the yard, and the duck just jumps up and sits on its head. And the kid just walks around with a duck on its head. Like, this is a wild life y'all living. You got land ducks at the lake sitting on your kids' heads. They're really weird looking. I think they're called Indian Runners or something like that. I put a picture of the girl with a duck on her head on Twitter at one point. I really dislike this girl's parents, but... Alice has been like going to school with their daughter since preschool, so we randomly go over there for events. But they're like the worst people. Ah, they're not. They're just the, the people in life that I hate the most, you know? Yeah, they stand erect like penguins, and rather than waddling, they run. You should get some of those, Lackert. Yeah, they stand like penguins. That's that's they're, they're unique. They're pretty easy to get. Yeah, they're just a domestic duck. I don't think they're expensive or anything. Maybe, though. These people are rich, so maybe they are. Maybe that's why they chose them over regular ducks. Also, what a dick move to live on a lake. Any, everyone who lives on a lake hates ducks, hates geese. They shit all over our docks. 
They shit all over our yards. They shit all over our boats. They quack, squawk. They quack and squawk and balk. And then to live on a lake and be like, you know what? I'm going to buy some extra ducks. Just add a few more ducks to the shitty situation that is already ducks on a lake. Yeah, Topwater's been doing a lot better, Jesse. I'm actually trolling double Topwater here for ass. But if you look at the, lead, uh, the record list, there's a lot more Topwater for a lot of fish. I'm not sure if they made a significant change to it or they're just getting used more. Yeah, we always go look at the chickens at Tractor Supply. I always feel bad because somebody always comes running over like excitedly to sell you chickens. And I'm like, no, we're just looking at the, the, the animals. That's free. a free zoo right inside your store we have like no pet shops left that actually have animals besides like fish and lizards but who cares about those things but like the idea of a puppy in a, uh, a window that's a song right like an old timey song I've like never seen that how much is that doggy in the window yeah something like that I can't the they can't get the, the tune right. But I, I feel like I remember that being an old-timey song. Do those exist, though, in other parts of the world? Is there, like, pet stores that actually have, like, cats and dogs just for sale? Yes, when they're in the south. Are you? I remember I was in uh, Colorado and they had like an exotic pet shop that blew me away. Because I just never really seen options to buy anything but fish. Alright. I have a rescue dog. She's the greatest dog of my life and I love her dearly. But she's just from the pound, right? But shelters are the worst fucking places on earth. Not because they're not, like they're doing a great thing and I respect what they're doing, but having to work with them and having trying to get a dog from them is such a fucking hassle that it makes you wanna just go buy a dog from a breeder. I understand you want the dog to have a good home. I get it, but you're also complaining about how fucking full you are and how broke you are. I'm already willing to pay your outrageous price for a rescue animal, but on top of that, I gotta write a fucking six-page essay on why I'm the greatest owner of all time for your fucking random-ass pit bull mutt. And then you're gonna tell me that my house isn't good enough because I don't have enough acres. Kim and I spent like two years trying to go through all these shelters to adopt a fucking dog. And we were denied every time while having two dogs, <laughs> which was part of it. We were like the worst possible home. We already had dogs and we had a kid. We're like bottom of the application pile instantly. The only dog that we were eligible for was 13 years old and had one leg. Da, 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 
<laughs> that was a joke about the 13 year old one legged dog chat. I'm sorry. I was just a, I was just saying that they weren't gonna give us any any dog. And like the, the the idea of those places is great, and the the idea of getting away from breeding is great, but to make it such a fucking headache really doesn't help the situation at all. I understand you don't want the dog to go to a horrible home. Yes. I had one, my first girlfriend ever. She was big dog girl, did dog shows and all kinds of stuff. And I remember she was the one that told me, like, you have to, you have to even talk different to these adoption people. She was, like, writing in the third person as if she was the dog. And she'd get a dog every time she wanted one. She had them figured out. And use all the, you know, the puppy term or dog terminology of forever home and... I shouldn't have to adjust my personality to fit some silly parameters. Fur baby. I really did get denied for a yard that was too small, and I had a lot and a half in town, fenced in, and they told me it was too small, and I almost lost my fucking mind. Like, this dog really... It's like, we also take what? Well, you know, like, you've got to be fucking kidding me. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I get it. I get it to a degree. It's just frustrating. It's one of those things where I understand why it exists, and I understand why it's the way it is, but it's gone so far that it's just such a goddamn headache. But this last dog, we just went down to the fucking pound and got incredibly lucky. She is the greatest pet I have ever owned. She was a headache at first with the eating, and I can't believe it, but she just stopped. She used to eat everything. Like, uh, we had to hide all the food on top of the cabinets, or you couldn't leave a god. She had an entire loaf of bread. But, uh, I think she's finally just eventually got to the point where she realized she was going to get fed twice a day and stopped, uh, eating everything. She's, she's so much better now, even too, Grant. She's gotten so good, dude. It's crazy. Yeah, that, I think that's what actually got her. She ate, like, three pounds of dog food. Um... And like legitimately look like a cartoon dog or like a goat at a petting zoo. And she threw up for like three days straight. God, goats at petting zoos. What a <laughs> what a body shape. That's the body shape I aspire to have. But rounds adjust in the belly. The true beer belly, you know what I mean? A lot of guys claim to have a beer belly, but few truly have just the I'm a pregnant man look that a baby goat, or that a petting zoo goat has. You have it, Brian. You actually have 
a bit of the true round I'm a I'm a pregnant man belly. And I respect it. The rest of you doesn't gain any weight, but you do have a bit of the true beer belly. Wow, I'm just saying it's a it's a fine quality, a respectable quality. You got the perfect start for it to, to really just accept like a balding dad bod with a huge the, the Carl from uh, Aqua Teen Hunger Force. I could see you getting there, Brandy. If you put in the work, you know, you're really committed. Above average male feet. Yeah, that's true too. I said that probably true. Looking back at your feet. Also from southern New Jersey, yeah. Are you gonna go bald? You had that like uh, incredibly thin hair that's hard to tell if dude's just got thin hair or is on his, on his way to balding. Cobalt has that too. Every time he grows his hair out, I'm like, dude, you're going bald. And then he shaves his head, and I'm like, oh no, you're fine. <laughs> and I always say, but your dad's bald. He's like, no, he's not. I hope his dad isn't here. His dad randomly shows up. I love you, Cobalt's dad. But Cobalt's dad looks like Carl from Aqua Teen Hunger Force. And in my head, he's just bald. <laughs> he's just. I can't I can't see him any other than way than bald, even though he has a beautiful head of like perfect snow white gray hair, but in my head, he's bald. Cause it just fits the body type so much better than beautiful hair. But I don't know how many times I've accused Cobalt of having a bald dad when I know his dad isn't bald. Did you meet Koloff's dad when you were down there, Doge? Probably not. He doesn't live with his parents anymore. He's a grown-ass man. His dad's a hoot. Let me tell you. His mom, too. They're both great. Very, very different people, but both great. Isn't hair jeans more likely from uncles than dads? Only if your uncle fucked your mom. And he's actually your dad. But otherwise, it has nothing to do with your fucking uncle. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> your uncle will share genes with your father <laughs> or your mother. <laughs> Which could in turn mean that you and your uncle aren't bald. And your dad is. <laughs> but that's because, like, yeah, you're. I, I think the magi I think it usually comes from your mom's side. My grandma studied hair loss for a living, so she's probably slapping me from heaven right now. Um, like that was her profession was hair loss. But I think generally it comes from your mom's side. But I don't think there's an actual like guaranteed. It's not like one of those. DNA things that you're guaranteed your mom's dad was bald, so you're gonna be bald thing. I don't think. I'm pretty sure. There's a whole lot of reasons for baldness, too. And a whole bunch of balding conditions that a lot of people don't even recognize or address. My, yeah, mom's side is. 
And that could be like in your family, like you're gonna have hair like your uncles. Where you got it from? I was, I wasn't trying to be mean, but. Mom's grandfather. I don't remember. My, like I said, my grandma would be mad at me. She made wigs and everything. Dealt with all kinds of people that pulled their hair out and female, fe specifically did a lot with like female baldness, which was really tough. All those women were, especially with her age, most of the women she dealt with were born in the 40s and stuff, you know, going bald in their 30s when it was not acceptable. She had been perming a woman's wig for like 56 years when she retired. Once a month or twice a month or some shit like that for like 56 years. <laughs> well, in your 30s is your current life plan? That's pretty tight. I don't know. Every time I think I'm good... It's really starting to feel thin up here. I'll tell you what. It definitely doesn't feel as thick as it used to. As hair falls down my face. That's just because I don't shower, right? That's what I tell myself. People have plucked out their eyebrows so they don't grow back yet. Yeah. Like, it's a condition, man. It's no different than somebody who fucking does some other crazy thing that you can't imagine. It's just a condition. Yeah, I'm already really gray, like super salt and pepper. It's in my beard now, too. I'm guessing the next couple years my beard will get pretty damn gray like my head is. My dad has a beautiful head of hair, and I look exactly like him, so I'm still praying for that to be relevant. I think my mom's dad was bald, though. I didn't know him. The dude died when I was, like, when I was born, and he died, like, the day I was born or some shit. I killed him. Yeah, my dad was gray young, too, and it's funny because my mom always, he went gray, like, sh shortly after they divorced. And my mom always was like, oh, it's the drinking. And now I'm in, like, about that age. And I'm like, it's not the drinking, ma. It's just genetic. <laughs> You're started in your beard <laughs> and your chest. Wow. That's exciting. I don't hate gray hair, but I do want to keep my hair. I have a weird shaped head. I don't think I could do bald well. I also just like skinny bald dudes are weird. Little, little bald dudes. Sorry to the little bald dudes in chat. I don't know. It's just, it's a, it's a weird look. It's not the the classic Carl bald guy look, you know? I'd have to really bulk up a bit. If I go bald, I'm going to look like a tiny baby child with these little hands. Like I'm going to crawl back into the womb at any moment. Try not shaving it. No, I legitimately have a giant ridge across the top of my head from where a cabinet fell on me when I was a child off the top of the stairs. It goes all the way across the top of my head right here. I 
look I'll be I'll look like I'm wearing a like a hairband. A headband. That's just my skull. Dude, I, I have the most random thought that I wanna just spew out into the internet so maybe sound like a lunatic. I'm gonna do it anyway. So bald dudes in chat. There was this dude on Big Brother this season who was bald. Kept it very clean shaved. But for some reason, he had like lines all down his head. Like, and when I say lines, like somebody held a Pokemon card against his head all the way across it. And I was like, man, what, what the fuck caused that? But every time, like indents, I guess, instead of lines. He had indents. No, it wasn't Razor Burn. Just indents in his skin. As if something had been pressed against his fucking head all day. And I could not, for the life of me, solve the riddle of why dude's head got indents in it. I'm gonna see if I can look him up. These are fucking photoshopped. No, 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 I was just looking up his name. I thought maybe it was like just after he shaved like he was applying so much pressure that he was actually creating indents in his head i, 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 I could not solve the riddle i've got to catch these fish though that's how you scalp yourself yeah i know so i was thinking maybe he wears some bald cap at night That's more what it looked like. Like he slept on something. Like he slept on a ribbed pillow. But like every time you saw him, his head looked like that. Straps from a breathing machine. Maybe it could be something like that. No, it didn't look like any kind of scarring. It just looked like, again, like you, you know, when you wake up in the morning and your face is covered in lines, it just looked like that. But they were like evenly spaced apart in a very patterned way. It was very unique looking. Those seams are his human suit. I think he lives in my area. I'm just gonna go track him down and ask him all right maybe i was crazy because every picture i find of him here i can't see them you can kind of see it there but not well enough that i'm gonna expose in the chat please stop photoshopping him foam pillows. I don't know. Six hundred bucks. Not bad. Not as good. I was distracted though by Brandland being Carl. Why are they photoshopping him? Because it's TV. And he's an incredibly handsome lad, so they need to just make his complexion perfect and his skin flawless. It's 
It's cornrows. It's, it's cornrows, Jack. Those are the incredibly tight braids that run front to back. My favorite kind of fish to eat, uh, tuna. And I've never had like real fresh tuna. I would rather eat tuna out of a can than any fish I've ever eaten. I like fish. I just love tuna, even out of a can. Someday I'll get a real tuna steak. Cornrows are painful. Like, you gotta get used to them, like anything. Wearing your hair in a fucking ponytail is painful until you get used to that. Am I sure it's actually tuna? It's definitely not dolphin. It's dolphin safe. Does it still say dolphin safe? I don't pay attention to the cans anymore. When I was a kid, that was a big deal that they advertised tuna as dolphin safe. I think Bumblebee got a bunch of black for dolphins in their tuna. When I was a child. albacore i don't know i think albacore is the fancy kind i think that the regular cheap tuna just says tuna and then albacore is one step up from regular tuna yeah there used to be a little seal on the bottom of tuna cans that said dolphin safe or dolphin free I'm not alone in this, right? You can just Google dolphin safe tuna. Yep, the US Department of Commerce is a little dolphin safe. Chicken of the Sea has one that says uh, sustainable wild caught dolphin safe. And Starkists. These all these labels all look like they're from the 90s, but Tuna companies sued. Yeah. And I don't think it was like regular dolphins either. I think it was some, like not your like classic uh, collectible dolphin. It was some other kind of dolphin, I think. Dude, dolphins cut open looks fucking weird. Like you cut open a rubber toy. The way their skin opens up is fucking weird. It looks unnatural as hell. Very rubbery. Was it not that they were dolphins in the tuna, but just they were killing dolphins with their tuna? Yeah, I think that was what it really was. But uh, as a kid reading dolphin safe on my tuna, I always assumed there wasn't any dolphins in my tuna. But I remember it was, a, like I said, it was a deal way back in the 90s with bumblebee tuna specifically remember that my mom stopped buying it but i see there's another recent one where they're still arguing that it's not a true statement
<laughs> a dolphin safe captain's training course. How exciting, dude. I need to go to bed, I guess. I don't know. My schedule's fucked. My daughter, if you didn't hear, my daughter's school got canceled for the rest of the week. She was going to get off on, uh, she was going to have Thursday and Friday off anyway, but now they've canceled it for the whole week because so many staff members are sick, students and staff members. So I should try to sleep because she's going to be up at the butt crack of fucking dawn and will demand food. Um, but yeah, that threw a wrench in my spoke, so I don't know what the stream schedule is going to be right like the rest of the week. It's holiday anyway. Minecraft streams all week? Uh, I don't know. Now that you're saying there's a big update coming in just a few weeks, I might postpone it. We've been postponing it for months anyway. But anyway, I'm going to disappear. Thank you for letting me fish for a little bit. Sorry I didn't do anything more exciting. For those of you that hate fishing, fuck you. I love you. Please don't leave me.